Okay, our next speaker is Dr. He just got his PhD like last month, Dr. Scott Scheidt. He's the Chief Security Officer of Sumitsu, who by the way, is, is celebrating 40 years this year. Scott is gonna be speaking about cyber security. Come on up, doctor. Thank you, Marjorie. Thank you, everybody. Uh, hopefully mine is not the negatives for everybody in the in the room as, as much as the positives we've heard so far. Um, but on behalf of Sam Samitsu Cook, the CEO of Samitsu, I'm honored to, to share statistics from 2023 into the 2024 year related to the small business enterprises, IT and cybersecurity solutions that we provide as well as technology security space at large. Healthcare, education, and finance continue to be the top three targeted industries in technology security and cybersecurity concerns. Small businesses with 1,000 or fewer employees are impacted by 46% of all cyber breaches. 65% of cyber attacks were the result of third-party vendors. 75% of small businesses could not continue operating if they were hit with a ransomware attack. 64% of small businesses are not familiar with cyber insurance. Recent changes to the FTC safeguards rule mandate cybersecurity programs and what should be in those programs such for companies such as accountants, tax preparers, mortgage brokers, property appraisers, and many other groups that, that we could talk about later. So the question I bring to the small business leadership today is how strong is your third party risk management? 95% of cyber attacks are attributed to human error. Even when your organization attempts to maintain a strong cybersecurity posture, how do you know what the posture of your vendors and your service providers are? Samitsu's IT and cybersecurity teams have seen a 20% increase in the last year in customer requirements for incident response due to data breaches or ransomware resulting from phishing attacks and exploitation of system vulnerabilities. So we bring you some recommendations for closing out today. So the recommendations we have for this year uh, that we're here to help you with, as well as uh, share in the community success, is to develop third-party risk management awareness. Engaging in more risk awareness, decision-making with stakeholders is the best way to slow the flow of embedded risks in fast-moving and growing enterprises. Your reputation and cash flow can be affected by the security posture of your vendors and service providers. Establish relationships before you need them, such as through incident retainers with MSPs or cyber insurance posturing. Cyber insurance reviews have, in the Savannah area have increased 30% in the last year, and the requirements to qualify for cyber insurance premiums have, have, have become lower. Paying a ransom will not likely get your data back at the same 100% state it was before an attack. Proactive cyber defense is better than relying on cyber insurance to cover a ransomware as it may not be enough and most small businesses are underinsured for what may actually happen through an attack on themselves or your vendors. I'll leave you with that and say thank you for the opportunity to share this with you. Absolutely. Thank you.